Meta recently unveiled Orion. It's a 3.3 ounce pair of augmented reality glasses that you can control with your mind. They are unlike anything available on the market, but there's a problem. While Mark Zuckerberg got Gary V and Jensen Huang excited about Orion, he's playing a much trickier game. And if you want to find out why I think the glasses are simply a marketing ploy, keep watching till the end. Orion has been in development for the past 10 years when Mark Zuckerberg, the founder and CEO of Facebook, now Meta, created a team of the best people in the field of AR and VR. When it came to building the most advanced AR glasses, the requirements were simple, but the technical hurdles they had to overcome were colossal. Unlike other companies, I'm looking at you, Apple. <laughs> yeah, boy. Meta wanted to build a pair of glasses, not a headset. There had to be no wires, and the glasses had to weigh less than 3.3 Oz of 100 grams. On top of all that, they needed a wide field of view holographic display, and the cameras needed to be sharp enough to pick up details while also being bright enough to see in different lighting conditions. They wanted the glasses to be wide enough so they could display multiple monitors or a wide screen for watching a movie. But the most important of all is the need to see through the glasses because otherwise they would be a total safety hazard. Now, imagine if someone came up to you and told you to build this device in 2014, because that's almost how long it took the team to build these glasses. And finally, during the Meta Connect 2024 developer conference, they unveiled the glasses that could do all of the things I mentioned above and more. Maybe that's why it came in a metal suitcase that was handcuffed to a guy's wrist when it was first opened. So what can this pair of glasses actually do? First off, the widescreen allows you to view the physical world and overlay holograms on top of it. For example, if you see a list of ingredients, a non-moving hologram will be stuck to each of the ingredients and Orion will tell you what it is with amazing accuracy. Now, imagine how helpful this would be in the real world. If you're having a conversation with someone and you receive a message, the pop-up will overlay that window over the actual conversation. It won't distract you from the actual conversation and you can still respond to the text with a few simple hand gestures. Plus, if you and your friend both have Orion, then you can play immersive AR games like Pong and so much more. Second, the Orion glasses can smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, they can display holograms of people when you talk to them. This means if you have family members living abroad, you will be able to call them and it will be like they're right there in the room with you. So how can Orion do this? Well, the first thing is the tiniest monitor that isn't a monitor at all. The display is not a screen. Meta completely reimagined the display architecture using small projects built in the arms of the glasses. They shoot lights into waveguides and have nanoscale 3D structures. These structures are etched into the lenses and diffract light. This is how the glasses put holograms at different depths and sizes. All of these controls are directed by custom silicone and built-in sensors. And the most impressive feature of all, if you are me, is the battery that's built into the arm of the glasses. It's like they took all of these giant pieces of tech, shrunk them down, and fitted them inside a pair of glasses. Now, while the engineering might sound impressive, what's more impressive is the way people would interact with Orion. When working on the device, the team at Meta wanted to include the most common ways of interacting, like voice commands and gestures. By wearing a wristband on your arm, Orion can recognize and translate hand gestures into screen commands. But still, this might not be ideal in all situations. But what if you're in a quiet space and you need to text your friend back? Also, controlling the glasses with your hands might be intuitive, but think about waving your arms like a crazed lunatic when crossing the street, all because you keep getting an unwanted pop-up. For this reason, Meta worked on two additional ways to control the glasses. The first one is eye movement, and the second is mind control. The best way for you to interact with the glasses is by using your brain to send in signals that will translate those brain signals into commands. That's why Orion is powered by Meta's wrist-based neural interface. 
With this one seemingly simple change, Meta just broke the four minute mile in the AR space. Thanks to Orion, Meta will be 10 steps closer to realizing the dream of Reality Labs. In other words, Orion will be to the smartphone what the smartphone was to the TV. Thanks to their 3D avatars, when talking with someone, you will feel like they're in the same room as you. So now the billion dollar question is, where can I buy these glasses and how much? This is where things get a little convoluted and complicated. After seeing what Orion could do, people began asking where they could buy the glasses. But before Meta can start shipping this product, Zuckerberg thinks that they can improve it in a few different areas. First off, they will be improving and fine-tuning the display system so the image you see is sharper. The design of the glasses needs to be updated as well. But the key takeaway from Zuck's address during the conference was this. We need to keep working on the, the uh, manufacturing to make it a lot more affordable too. That last part got me worried a little bit. So while these glasses are pretty extraordinary, they also come with an extraordinary price tag. I did some digging around and it wasn't hard to find that if Meta began selling the Orion glasses, they would be, are you ready for this? $10,000 a pop. That's almost three times more expensive than Apple's Apple Vision Pro, which is probably the main reason Zuckerberg is trying to bring down the price of the glasses so a lot of people can afford them. But this is what I don't really understand. Why did Meta announce their revolutionary new glasses if they're not going to be releasing them soon? Nope, they have no plan of release for Orion. They just want people to start talking about these AR glasses and they only handed out prototypes to their employees. But the technology is pretty advanced and major creators and business influencers like Gary Vee and the CEO of Nvidia have been included in this launch. So. Here's the actual billion dollar question. Why did Meta announce the glasses if they knew they wouldn't be releasing them anytime soon? According to some theorists, technology this advanced will only be available for the mass market at a fairly reasonable price only in the 2030s. Until then, we will have to contend with more and more companies teasing us with all of this advanced wearable tech. If they didn't plan on releasing this product in 2030, they would have announced a release date and then created a dedicated page for pre-orders, just like Elon Musk did with the Cybertruck. But they didn't do any of this. They just unveiled the most groundbreaking, earth-shattering piece of AR tech since the invention of AR headsets and did nothing about it. So that's why I think Meta doesn't really plan on releasing these glasses at all. First off, Mark Zuckerberg, built a prototype that is just good enough to make people excited when they see it. A lot of buzzwords like 100 grams and mind control get people pretty excited about the glasses. I was too. If Meta wanted to release Orion, they would have just done it after the announcement, but they didn't. So why would Meta risk giving insider secrets to competitors like Apple and Samsung about their revolutionary tech? Either they're stupid or they know Apple and Samsung can't do anything with this tech either. So what Meta did is they released the Orion glasses as a marketing ploy. They just wanted people to keep talking about them because Meta knows that if they don't stay top of mind for six to 12 months, they're pretty much dead in the eyes of the consumers. To avoid that, Meta released the glasses because they knew the competitors couldn't copy them. But what do you think? Will Meta release Orion in less than five years or was this just a marketing trick? Here's another video AI enthusiasts love watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time. 